The Lagos State Police Command is investigating three of its men, a corporal and two constables, over a video showing residents in the Ajegule area protesting after a woman was allegedly hit in the mouth by the cops. The State Police Public Relations Officer Bala El Kana confirmed that the Area B Command, APAPA, have been asked to investigate and submit a report to the State Commander over the incident. The video showed about five residents dragging with the policemen attached to the Tulu Police Division for carrying out arbitrary arrest of an Egyptian-based footballer in the area. Joining us now is social commentator Chuka Ihono. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you. Help us draw a connection between the brutality that inspired the Black Lives Matter protest and what we witness in Nigeria. Uh, well, in, um, I think the system here is what has basically blocked our chances of being heard by government and, and of course, the police force, which is part of government. Um, uh, in, in a place where you have systems in place where things are done in an orderly and legal fashion, not in a lawless uh, fashion, you can complain and know that within reason you will be listened to, you'll be allowed to hold protests, uh, I mean, even with the violence going on in the protests right now abroad, uh, uh, especially in the UK right now, um, it's on. You know, you don't. It's not like you suddenly get the police going on the on, on, on a rampage against the citizens. You know what I mean? They will complain. They will talk about being. They will. They will you know, they will be more um, not lenient. It's the opposite. They will be more stringent with them now when they're complaining and when they're protesting, so that it's peaceful rather than um, uh, violent. But here in Nigeria, I mean, if you so much as protest, they'll send out the boys to stop you and stop you with violence, which is what you're complaining about. So we don't have a system that works and no one is going to risk their lives just for, uh, you know, just like that. I think that's where there's a difference. Well, there are things we can do. The, the IGP in this instance says investigation is ongoing. Uh, some cases have been concluded when it comes to uh, the issue of rape. Um, this seems to be a, a repeated, um, um, you know, chronology of events. We hear there is quizzing, there is investigation, there is sacking of these officers. Beyond these, what kind of punitive measures can, you know, we come up with so that when one is punished, at least to some extent, it will serve as real strong deterrent uh, for others. Well, the thing is this. In Nigeria, we, we, we keep talking and we don't do anything. Um, it's, it's, very, it's, 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 it's usual to hear things like, you know, uh, there's a terrorist attack somewhere in the north and what you hear is the president said, fish them out. And that's about it. And we don't believe that it's going to happen because it has never happened and... We don't even see the president with his sleeves rolled up saying, I am going to fish them out. We just hear the president said it will, it will be fished out. How do we know it's only the president that sent out that uh, information? So if we take this down back to the IGP and anybody else, even your local district office uh, head uh, in the police, um, you'll find that they just talk. How many policemen have we seen jailed for what they've done? We don't, see, we don't see or hear of any. I'm not saying there's absolutely none, but it's clear. And what also happens is that a lot of the time there's a cover-up. I mean, look right. at the matter in Ajegunle, and they're saying that, oh, it's a cultist's den. And it's a notorious area. What kind of nonsense is that for a I'm afraid that's the much uh, time will allow us um, for uh, this conversation. Thank you so much. We hope to have you uh, subsequently on the news. Okay. Thank you.